Hey everyone, AI video is entering the mainstream and most people have no idea just how good it already is. You think you can spot AI easily? Watch this video until the end and see if you can spot all of the AI elements. I wanted to do a video about how easy it is to fake things with AI in the year 2026. All of this looks pretty real, but I just gave it a photo of me and then a text description of where I wanted to be and what I wanted to be doing. With AI, I can do anything and be anywhere. As you can see, the tech is pretty impressive. This wasn't really possible a year ago. Now, I don't own a Dodge Viper in real life, but with AI, I could probably make you believe this was my car. Looks pretty real, huh? I'm using some extreme examples here to prove a point, but it is now really easy to fake a video of anyone doing just about anything. Social media in 2026 is going to be full of unbelievable AI videos. Many of them will be designed to fool you. Now, why would someone wanna show you an AI video and make you think it's real? What could they gain? What do you think, Sparkle Farts? Dude, how should I know? I'm not really on social media. I'm more of a front of a trapper keeper kind of guy. Good point. Trapper keepers are real and I'm real, so the unicorn must be real, right? No, that's false association. The scam relies on proximity or association. Because two things are demonstrably real, the third is assumed to be real by implication. Take this unicorn, for example. Sure, it looks real enough. But is it? I mean, you just saw it walk up to me. If a video is too good to be true, then it's probably fake. Ask yourself, why was this filmed and why was this shared? Imagine if I was trying to impress someone on a dating site. Hey, come check out my unicorn. And it is not even real. It sure looks real though. <laughs> Bad actors may use AI video to try and trick you into sharing something, doing something, or sending them money. People will use AI to make themselves look better or worse than they really are. Hey, at least we're all handsome. Now, why would someone want to do that? Well, imagine if you got a video from someone that wanted money. I was at the fish rodeo and got hurt. Send me money. What's a fish rodeo? Glad you asked. I'm ready. Should you donate to my GoFundMe? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Seems fishy. Ow. Have you ever seen an image shared online of a ridiculously detailed sculpture or something someone, usually a kid, has made? Like this butter sculpture of Abraham Lincoln? That's engagement bait. People are driving up views so they can monetize their page, selling ads, redirecting to scam links, or sell the page to someone later. Remember what dear old Abraham Lincoln said? Don't believe everything you see on the internet just because there is an image or video of it. Now imagine you are going to do business with someone. They could use AI to fake that they are a big shot with a nice office and important friends. As you can see in this video, it is very easy to deep fake someone. This all looks pretty real. It doesn't have to just be video to be an AI deep fake. It's very easy to fake someone with just audio. Excuse me, sir, but you know who is online too. He keeps calling. Hello, sir. You had something you wanted to say? People are already using AI in some very bad ways. Very bad. Fake videos, fake audio, fake quotes. Things that never happened, fake news. Now some very gullible people are believing it, which is sad. Throw that up on social media and it gets shared so fast, people don't even take the time to verify what's real and what isn't. Isn't that sad, folks? It's sad. This isn't really the President speaking, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. It's an AI voice generator made to sound like him. Pretty impressive, but also a little bit scary. Shouldn't be this simple, folks. Shouldn't be this simple. Now, please don't put Floyd on a list. He's trying to warn people about just how easy it is to spread misinformation with AI. Turns out, it's pretty easy, folks. It's pretty easy. 
You can make someone say anything, like we've seen and heard in this video. Wasn't Sparkle Farts the unicorn cute, though? We love Sparkle Farts, don't we, folks? See what I mean? Pretty crazy, huh? But that's not all. Now imagine that I'm a scammer, sending photos and videos to people in exchange for money. Pretty believable, huh? Here are some ways that you can be more aware of AI and deepfakes you may encounter this year. First, assume anything digital can be faked. I mean, you can see how easy this is. Treat unexpected videos, audio clips, or screenshots as unverified until proven otherwise. Be especially skeptical if the content provokes urgency, fear, or outrage. Those emotions are commonly exploited. Watch for behavioral red flags. Here are some things to watch out for. In videos, watch for unnatural blinking, stiff facial movement, or lip sync errors. We left some of that stuff in this video. For audio, listen for a cadence that's slightly off, odd pauses, or a too perfect sound on phone calls, just like earlier in this video. For a text you may get on your phone, Watch for generic phrasing, pressure tactics, or an unusual tone from someone you know. For text in an image, watch for characters that are drawn incorrectly, gibberish, or weird smudges. This is getting better all the time. Hopefully this part of the video didn't drag on too much for you. Drag on! <laughs> Dragon! Get it? When being contacted by someone you think you know, you always want to verify through a second channel. If a message claims to be from a friend, boss, or loved one, contact them using a different method. Call instead of texting. Use a known email address instead of a link. Be careful. Never reply directly to the suspicious message to confirm, and never click on a link the person may have sent. Slow down on high pressure requests. Take a moment to breathe and think. Scammers rely on speed. Any requests that say, act now, don't tell anyone, or this is urgent, deserve extra scrutiny. Legitimate organizations will allow time for verification. No Metallica? Always check the source, not the content. Look at the account age that the content comes from, watch for any username variations, weird domain spelling, and prior activity. Remember, a convincing video means nothing if the source itself is untrustworthy. Here's what to do if you think you're being scammed. <laughs> That's right, it was me the whole time. Anyway, here's what you need to do. It can be scary, but do not click links, download files, send money, or continue the conversation. Silence prevents additional manipulation. Rise above the danger and ignore the call. Next, you're gonna to wanna to preserve evidence. Take screenshots, save voicemails, record URLs, and note timestamps. This data will be critical if financial recovery or reporting becomes necessary. Next, secure your accounts. Change passwords for affected accounts immediately. Enable or strengthen your two-factor authentication. Jeez, you're handsome. <laughs> Check your login history. Revoke any unfamiliar sessions you may see. Want to go grab some ice cream? <laughs> I can eat twice as much. Next, you'll want to contact your financial institutions right away. If money or sensitive data was shared, notify your bank, credit card company, or payment platform immediately. Speed can be the difference between recovery and permanent loss. <laughs> What's with the female pirates, you ask? Well, we want people to pay attention, but we're also an equal opportunity pirate ship. <laughs> Again, speed can be the difference between recovery and permanent loss. I'm getting off at the next port. Report the scam. 
This is important. Report impersonation or deep fake content to the platform where it appeared. Facebook, Instagram, etc. File a report with relevant consumer protection or fraud agencies in your area. If the impersonation involves a workplace, notify internal security or IT. Maybe don't tell them a hippo jockey suggested you do so. Hey, that reminds me. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? Well, a hippo is really heavy and a zippo is a little lighter. <laughs> if you know the person being impersonated, let them know. <laughs> hey, you're being impersonated. Oh, yeah, I know, this is my video and I'm trying to prove a point. <laughs> a simple rule to remember is that if it's unexpected, emotional, urgent, or asks for secrecy, pause and verify. Without people being aware of what AI can do, we're all cooked. <laughs> so there you have it. As you may have already guessed, there was no real footage used in this video anywhere. It's all fake. I did use a photo of myself as reference, but that's it. Everything's AI generated, including the audio. I don't really sound like this, and my accent was all over the place. No hippos, chickens, dragons, or people were harmed in this video. Again, it's all fake. <laughs> Some of the software used for this video includes Google's Nano Banana, VO3, ChatGPT, and Eleven Labs. I decided to keep some of the glitches in this video to help show AI video in its truest form. How many mistakes did you spot? Leave them in the comments below. Share this video with folks who you think need to see it. I don't think the general public is really aware of what's possible now. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell for updates. Hey, we're gonna grab some pizza, wanna come? Sure. <laughs> Later on, everyone.